Hey kids, hello welcome back to my channel. Let's learn with MG, stories, poem, learning magic. Have you ever seen a long line of ants marching towards crumbs of food? Isn't that amazing? Well, ants, honeybees, termites, and wasps are called social insects. Why? Because they live together in large groups, work as a team, share food, and even protect and feed their young ones. These insects make big families called colonies. Let's explore the ant world first. A colony of ants has three important members. The queen ant, she is the biggest one in the colony, and her only job is to lay eggs. The worker ants, these hard-working ants are smaller but very busy. They collect food, clean the nest, and take care of the queen, eggs, and babies. The soldier ants, the biggest protectors of the colony. They guard the nest and keep enemies away. Now, let's buzz into the beehive. Honeybees also live in well-organized colonies. The queen bee, the largest in the hive, and just like the queen ant, she only lays eggs. The worker bees, always busy buzzing. They build the hive, control its temperature, feed the queen and the young ones, collect nectar, and protect the hive. The drone bees, fewer in number, they have only one special role, reproduction, so that the colony can grow. Isn't it wonderful how ants and bees work together as one big family? That's the power of teamwork. Honeybees are super busy insects. They fly from flower to flower collecting nectar, and from that nectar, they make delicious honey stored safely in their beehive. But wait, do you know how bees tell each other where the food is? They do a special, waggle dance. By moving in circles and wiggling, they show other bees the exact direction and distance of food. Isn't that cool? Now kids, what can we learn from ants and bees? Teamwork, ants and bees work together just like us. They help one another and protect their homes. Organization, they divide themselves into groups, and each group does a special job. Hard work, these little insects never give up. They keep working endlessly, no matter how tough things get. Responsibility, every member knows its duty and works carefully to support the colony. Wow, ants and bees may be small, but they teach us some of the biggest life lessons. So kids, let's remember to work hard, stay organized, take responsibility, and always be a great team player. Now let's meet some super cool crawlers. First, earthworms. They have soft, slimy bodies with no bones, no arms, no legs, no eyes, and no teeth. But guess what? Their tiny mouth can grab a leaf and carry it around. They munch on dead plants and animals, making the soil rich and healthy. That's why farmers call them, friends of the farmer. Next, snakes. Like earthworms, snakes have no arms or legs, but they're much faster. They move by slithering, that's sliding their body along the ground. Snakes eat mice, insects, eggs, and sometimes even big animals. They help farmers too, by eating rats and pests that spoil crops. And finally, lizards. These little guys have two eyes, four legs, and one tail. Some are scaly, some are soft, and they all lay eggs. They love eating insects like mosquitoes, flies, and cockroaches. So, they're like tiny pest control superheroes. See? Even these crawlers help our world in amazing ways. Keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, let's learn with MG. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe my channel.